All right, today we're gonna go a little different direction. We're not doing any landscaping today. Today we were out shopping at Sam's Club and I came across this Ion Aqua Boom X floating Bluetooth speaker. Now, sitting here in the background, it looks much smaller than it actually is. But if I hold it up here by my head, you can see just how big the box is. The reason I even cared about this thing is because we've got a TV up here and I like to kick back in a hot tub and watch some TV or put on some music, but you can't hear it very well. Generally when you buy these TVs brand new nowadays, the speakers aren't that great. You have to hook them up to some other kind of external speaker in order for it to sound good. And especially out here on the deck, and even more especially when we don't have the curtains pulled. We have these curtains around here that we can pull. It gives us a little bit more privacy and it contains the sound from the TV a little bit more. But I don't always want those pulled and I do always want to be able to hear the TV. So like today I was out here cleaning up this area and I had this TV turned up to 100. And just with all the other outside elements, I still could barely hear it. So I bought this speaker. It was 50 bucks at Sam's Club. And I'm gonna open it up here and see if I can get it to connect to this TV. TV and hopefully have a much better speaker going. So just looking at the box here, you can see where we got a volume control, multicolored lights on here, we got a FM radio built in, high power Bluetooth speaker, multicolored lights that dance to the music, that's kind of cool. It's supposed to be waterproof and sandproof, plus it floats, rechargeable 10 hour battery, pair two for stereo sound. I don't think that's really necessary. I just want to be able to hear the TV better while I'm in here. FM radio with presets, works with ion sound control app. I don't know if that's uh, required or not, but we're going to find out. And yeah, that's what it looks like right there. We're going to take it out of the box here in about 21 seconds. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like an Xbox. <laughs> it's actually pretty good size. There it is right there. That's a pretty good size speaker there. I'm anxious to see this thing floating around in the water. I don't intend on using it floating around in the water. I'll probably find a way to mount it somewhere up in here. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to see it float. All right, what do we got here? Must be charging cord. Yeah, USB to USB-C charging cord. Let's just to see if it turns on. Okay, it turned on. I don't know We're how- on. FM mode. You can see the lights on there going around. FM mode, Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth pairing. Bluetooth pairing. All right, so let me see what I got to do to get it to pair with the TV up here. Aquaboom X came up on the TV there. Oh, Bluetooth connected. All right. That didn't work when I tried to connect the speakers that are actually on the hot tub. The hot tub has its own set of speakers built in, and I couldn't get them to connect on there, but this uh, Aquaboom connected right up. I mean, within seconds. Turn up that volume a little bit. That might be a little too loud. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to let you here because of copyrights, but in fact, let's do this. Let's go to YouTube. Wow. <laughs> that sucker is loud. Let me just go to my channel here. Okay, Romancing the States, and let's go to Landscaping Along the Front Brick Pathway. Keep it quilted means you keep it the wow. best. Three layers of plush comfort you can see and feel. Okay, it is evening, Yikes. and as much as I just want to kick back inside and do nothing. Let's skip through till we got some music going. Here we go. Wow. Turn that down a little. That is really loud. All right, let's pause that. I, I'm really really pleased with that right now <laughs> i'm just going to turn the power off for a minute and push play and let you see what it sounds like just using the speakers on a tv so you can hear how there's a whole lot of treble going on in there and back to the speaker here all right well we got a good start on it um yeah we got at least the hundred a thousand percent better that speaker right there this was well worth the money 50 bucks for this thing now hold on let's get the hot tub going and see how we can hear it over the jets first we're going to do the jets then we're going to do the float test light okay. 
so you can see how that gets kind of loud there having those jets on and when you're sitting in there trying to watch tv you can't hear that tv at all even if it's turned up almost all the way so here we go general shape of it there. I'll have to come wow. out here tomorrow and skim off this top of grass here. And I'm probably going to round off this little corner here so it just meets that nicely right there. That is no problem here in that thing right there at all. So turning the power off on this for a second, I want you to hear the TV from right here with the jets on. Can you even hear it? I mean, I can just barely hear it up there. And then back to the speaker. Every time I do a project out here, I find something from a former owner that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So we got this. That is, <laughs> that thing's awesome. All right, well, let me look at the directions first before we do the float test. All right, let's turn off these jets for a minute here because I'm looking at the instructions here, looking for anything that talks about where this thing floats. Um, how much water you can get on it. On the box itself, it is even called a floating Bluetooth speaker. It has pictures of it floating. I don't see anywhere where it says anything about does not actually float. However, when I'm looking at the instructions here, I do see important safety instructions. Heed all warnings and follow all instructions. Number three says clean only with a dry cloth. And number four says water and moisture if applicable do not use this apparatus near water this apparatus shall not be exposed to dripping or splashing and that no objects filled with liquids such as vases shall be placed on the apparatus it does say if applicable so the fact that this is called a floating speaker should make it not applicable <laughs> I'm hesitant to put it in there, but I'm gonna do it because it's called a floating speaker. And if it doesn't work, it's going back to the store. Let's just make sure we got our sound going. Did my stupid ankle when I was using that shovel and I was wearing my hokas. It's floating. Well, it's working, it's floating, you can hear it over the jets. Pretty dang cool. $50 at Sam's Club. Well worth it. So even knowing that yes, it can float in the water, Setting up in an area like that is probably more like what I'm going to be doing. In the end, you can see it's all wet, but it is completely waterproof. You saw it floating around in there. You heard it. It sounds totally awesome. Get my towel here and dry her off. If I can find a link for you guys to buy one of these, I'll put it right here at the corner of the video. But there it is. Ion Portable Floating Bluetooth speaker. Well worth 50 bucks. Sam's Club. Go get you one now right after you get a hot tub. <laughs>